I don't do I heard that you can get ringworm on your face. Yeah. Is that true? And I have a two-year-old that's about to start daycare. <laughs> and I wanted to know if it's contagious and how can I prevent him from getting it? All right, so they call it ringworm because it forms a ring-like rash in your face. It's actually a fungal infection. We call it tinea, and it can occur anywhere on your body, your groin, your feet, your face. If it's on your face, very likely maybe somewhere else as well. It can be very contagious. Typically on the face, it can be that round pattern like you said, but not necessarily. It may just look like a rash. Yeah, exactly. Prevention is also key. Don't share clothing or sports equipment. Uh, if you're going to wear, uh, take a shower in public shower, make sure you wear shoes or flip-flops so you don't mm -hmm. catch that fungus on your feet. And then um, after your shower, make sure your skin is nice and dry because that fungus, and, uh, it loves moist areas. And here's another thing. If you have a pet and that pet starts to have little patches of, of uh, um, hair that's, uh, that's missing, you know, uh, bald patches, that can be a sign of ringworm in a pet. And can be contagious to kids. And treatment, since it is a fungal infection, you can start by, by trying over-the-counter antifungals. There's a number of those available. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't get better, though, that's where you're probably going to have to see a dermatologist. You may need a stronger antifungal. You may actually have to take pills. Mm -hmm. Once you get it, you have to be vigilant because it does have a tendency to come back and mm -hmm. do all the preventive tips yeah. That you said yeah, usually got to treat it for a couple of weeks. It's not just a couple of days. It's mm -hmm. weeks and weeks. And of besides treatment. spreading to others, you can you can actually spread it to other parts of your body. So you have to mm -hmm. be very careful. Everything you wanted to know about ringworm.